namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa namo dasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa Evening. <laughs> and today is the last day of Dhamma talk, and the last talk may be very, very difficult. And also highest, the highest practice. And uh, from the, we can tell the, go into the Anagan and Arhant. Okay, Anagan and Arhant is a non return after the Arhant. So this is one also I was trying to explain again, so we join together. So the kind of the matter is very important for the practical practice. No? Not only theoretical knowledge, theoretical knowledge not so useful, just knowing and throw away, you forgot about it. Practical, how to, how we shall practice to be not, so the first day we already explained to the Sotavan and Sagaragan. Now as Anagan and Arhan, it's very, very important. Future is very difficult to tell. We don't know what will happen. I can teach again, or you will be here, or we don't know next year who can guarantee. Okay? So we have good opportunity, so we just share the Dharma. So please try to listen carefully and learn by heart and practice until successful. That is good. <laughs> Not only listen and this side listen, the next and another side or ear throw away, don't do that. It's impermanent in and out, okay? <laughs> Cannot do <laughs> I have to learn properly and keep it and practice. Then only useful. We need to respect the Dhamma. Not only reading, reading, reading and throw away, okay? Okay, today mainly I would like to emphasize about emptiness. Very important. This is a very popular was for the in a Western country and in Asia too, and many people like to use for their emptiness. Many people also like it. Do you like? Do you like it? Emptiness. Do, do you understand? Do you like or don't like about emptiness? <laughs> huh? Do you like or don't like? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, doesn't matter, just listen, okay? But you need to know the, the real emptiness. Real emptiness is uh, no nama and no rupa and no suffering, okay? No cause and effect. There is nibbana, it's really emptiness. But also we can, different people and different teachers have been teaching different ways of empty, emptiness. So we can clarify that the first type of emptiness is uh, no rupat, when the mind is there. And then, okay, emptiness or rupat, emptiness of material things, okay? And there are two types, emptiness of mind, rupat is there, no mind, okay? Two types, okay? Number three, emptiness of mind and matter, three types, okay? Understand? Huh? So how we can practice for that? Okay, this is the short way we can explain. Now we are practicing concentration, meditation about anapanasti after the four jhana. Okay, we are still trying. Okay, don't worry. Very soon we'll be okay because many people have nimitta. After nimitta, easy to attend by jhana. So keep on trying. It's a very good sign. You, know, you have the nimitta. So from, from that Kriya Nimitta, we need the Nimitta to be very, very clear. If the Nimitta is not clear, no good for your absorption. Absorption means we call Jhana, and concentrating our minds, we have to concentrate on a one object, only one object. We call one partner of the mind, we're taking the object to the Nimitta, and for a long time, one hour or two hours, that kind of absorption is we call Jhana. So now we are trying to the, after the nimitta to be clear, some people start to see that the color and bright light. So some teacher teach that when you see the color or the bright light happen, they will ask you to, this, they told that there's nimitta, you can do an absorption. So what do you, do you do it? The mind will absorb inside the light. So the light can be stretched to the whole body, either the whole body or 
The line is uh, you are inside the light. The light spread to the everywhere, every direction. Okay, so only the mind is there. At the beginning, you will feel the light. You are inside the light. After for a while, you don't see any bright light, or you and you don't feel, but you are inside. You are just the mind is going to stop there. The objects disappear. Okay. There's the object disappear is not good and there is not really absorption. And also the just now the light is spread to the whole body and then because of the light spread into the whole body, you have it the body feeling is very calm and very peaceful. The kind of sensation happen. So the mind is not with the limiter. After that you in combine with the sensation on the body, calmness and peacefulness and within on the body, not on the object or the limiter. So mix with the sensation. There's two objects and uh, not general object. Okay. So the limiter really need to be clear. That's the reason, because the, the absorb to the limiter is too early. There's thing happen. The limiter not yet stable. There's the reason we don't encourage the student to absorb quickly to the light. Okay. So we need to clarify by jana is many people teach now the different types of teaching. In, in, in the Asian, in, in Europe, and the West, the US too. Many teachers now, they, they teach, uh, they didn't emphasize about the limiter also. As soon as they concentrate on the breathing, after four while, they have some kinds of concentration because, uh, because of the mindfulness, and their concentration arise. When they have the concentration, mind happen, start to feel about the beauty. You know, a lot of joy will happen in your mind and the body comfortable. So there is the emphasis that the teacher asked them to absorb on the happiness feeling. Going following and absorb on the PT, PT, PT and Sukha. Then the mind is stay with the PT and Sukha, only following the sensation. The beginning, okay, the mind is happy. After for a while, the mind was stuck in somewhere. It's so with the object and no object, don't know where they are, then don't know what to do it. There's also one thing. The way they teach that the piti, sukha, piti is the object of the jhana. So they emphasize a lot of piti. Okay? There's one also not really true. Piti is only supporting characteristic only, supporting for the jhana. Okay? And in the first jhana, we have five characteristics, five jhanas better. In the first jhana, in the, okay? Number one, you got the vitaka, applying thought. Applying thought is we want to know why is the object. Now we have the limiter, and this we know there is anapana limiter. This knowing on the object is applying thought. Sustained thought is we have to stay with the object for one hour or two hour absorption. Absorption in the mind, we have following mind. Yesterday I explained that uh, mind dot thought process, I dot and mind dot. The mind dot thought process is knowing again, 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 on the limiter, 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 until one hour or two hours, continuously knowing, cannot stop. As soon as you stop, jana drop, and then wondering thought will happen. Yeah? So continuously just maintain, maintain the, the, your mind is still good for the maintain of the long time, and you can stay with the and maintain on your mind on that sustain thought is for the jana. There is a second jana factor. Number three, when you concentrate on the nimitta, after 10 to 20 minutes of absorption time, you start to feel a lot of pity, and a lot of joy will happen in your mind. Then also you have to contact with the nimitta and then the, the happy feeling, okay? Pity and contact. This pity is one kind of characteristic only. For Janus Veda, number three, Janus Veda. Number four is a happiness. Happiness comes from tranquility mind. The mind was concerned, when you concentrate on the nimitta, the mind didn't want to move, don't want to go anywhere, just stick on there and calmness, slowly, slowly, the mind is very calm and very quiet, and tranquility, when a very stable mind happened, this we call happiness. Okay, piti and sukha, piti and sukha we call it, joy and happiness are mostly happen together. After piti, only sukha is happen. Okay? Understand? Some people cannot differentiate why it's a piti and how it's, why it's a sukha. So we can see that, okay, when you eat, uh, okay, fried chicken, eh? <laughs> so, so tomorrow evening you can eat already, okay? You will be very happy, you can eat. So when you go there and just, uh, you, go, you, go in, you, you can go inside the kitchen, so you just look at your mom and prepare for you, okay? So that you saw, as soon as you see the chicken, fried chicken, how you will feel? You feel very good, very happy, okay? 
BT, a lot of BT will arise in you, in your mind or your, in the sense of your body too. So after that, you quickly go and sit down and eat. After eating, you feel very satisfied, very calm. Before that, a little bit shake. Okay, very happy. So get some kinds of emotion. Ah, oh, no, I should, I can eat, all right? Okay, the kind of mind will making you a vibration and BT is uh, some kinds of emotion. Then after that, after you eating, you feel satisfied, you feel very calm and very quiet, and you feel okay, very good. And then it's sukha, okay? And after taking the feeling, you feel very comfortable, very peaceful feeling, okay? Then the one part, number five, it is one part of the mind. One part of the mind is the mind is stay with the nimitta, didn't move. Don't want to move to any object, just stay on there and relax and knowing, knowing, and then with happiness. Taking of the object is nimitta. The, the main object is nimitta. The main object in the jhana is one partner of the mind to stick on that nimitta. Okay? So PT is one of the jhanas vata only. PT is support for jhanas, first jhana, second jhana, th for the first jhana and second jhana. Third jhana don't have PT. Okay? So PT is only supporting when you feel happy, you can stay with that object for a long time. If you are not happy, you cannot stick on that object, on the name of that. So kinds of supporting energy only. Understand? So people emphasize a lot of jhana is only piti piti sukha. <laughs> That's not really true, okay? Of course, and we can tell that piti is important for one characteristic to support it. But not only and piti is a jhana's object. This is mainly you need to understand. So in this way, we're trying to make, because of that, we're trying to make it the nimitta to be clear and stable. When you see the bright light or any color happen, it's because you have good parami, you could see that. And it's also, we can tell that because of concentration. Concentration arises mainly because of you having continuous with the awareness on the breathing for 10 to 20 minutes, uh, 20 to 30 minutes, continuous awareness on that. That's the reason your mind is very calm and very peaceful, and your body feels very light, and then concentration might support you to get the color and the name it. This we call the sign of concentration, okay? So when you see the color, okay, don't go and open your eye, don't go and contact, don't go and absorb on that light, Wait, be patient, and watch continuously, mindfully to the breath. And so you just continuously breathing in and out. And then when you start to see what the light, because of new experience, your mind starts to get vibration, you be a little bit, uh, and, you know, curiously, you want to know why is it? <laughs> Maybe there's outside light, or why do you, the kind of confusion happens, the concentration can be dropped. Then so we should not worry and don't worry, don't go and open your eye and don't contend with the light. Just relax and awareness on the breathing and relax, continuously breathe. After four while, you will feel that the concentration becomes deeper, then the color will start to change. The beginning yellow, orange, blue, I don't know what will happen to you, any color doesn't matter. Just keep it with the breathing, then there's the first level coming to the white color. Change to the white color is second level or nimitta. Okay, so when you see it about white color, also just give you with the breathing, continuously awareness of the breathing. So the white color become brighter and brighter. After white brightening, you will feel that the white is start to move in, come into the nostril. Sometimes you come and miss with the breathing. Sometimes you don't feel missing, you will feel in front of the nostril turning and coming, go, coming, go, that feeling happen. Sometimes we told them that don't concentrate on the light. They also worry, I don't want to see, I don't want to see the light. Then we go ignore, trying to ignore that. There. That's also no good. That drop your concentration to now the light is start to, the beginning moment only we don't encourage you to see in the beginning's yellow orange color and rising. If you go and concentrate then, then the concentration can be dropped. But now your concentration becomes deeper. The bright light is coming approach the nostril. Let it be, don't go and ignore. Don't worry about it. Let it be what happened, just watch it. Your duty is just you need awareness on the breathing. Don't forget about the breathing. All the time you need to be with the breath. Then slowly, slowly, the white rise slowly, closer and closer and smaller and clearer, slowly turn into the diamond or clear light, crystal ball. Some people see the crystal ball. Some people will see the clear water where sometimes you feel bright, sometimes not bright, doesn't matter. As soon as you can get the clear light, just be awareness again continuously on the breathing. Don't go and absorb. Sometimes you start to feel that the light start to get turned into the clear glass or crystal, 
and he didn't know, oh, the name of the name clear glass now. Christ, I will do absorption. Immediately don't do absorption also, the name of can be drop again. So we have to wait until this clear light it come and stop implant the nose straight and they very stable. Stable means about five to ten minutes times you have to wait to end in the UFV, but the name of is stopping here. Then only your mind can concentrate to the name of Slowly, slowly pay attention to the name of Don't go and penetrate inside the name of if you go and penetrate, the mind go and penetrate inside the nimitta, the mind goes inside the space, and then the object on the nimitta disappear too. So the beginning is very important when you're doing absorption time. The mind need to relax and awareness and slowly, slowly absorb and pay attention and on the surface of the nimitta, just stick on there. Then slowly, slowly you will feel a little bit going in, feeling about sensation going in inside the nimitta, okay? In and out a little bit, and then slowly, slowly the mind and don't want, don't want to move. Just stick on there and knowing, knowing, knowing on that object. And also, some meditators, when they do absorption and they know that the mind must be concentrate on the nimitta, so the mind just go and stick on the nimitta. After that, they didn't want to pay attention on that. And then they don't want, they don't want to awareness on the nimitta. After stopping for a while, the mind start to get wandering thought. They told that this is, uh, dro this is already dropped from the jhana absorption, okay? We cannot, any kinds of wandering thought happen, you are not in the jhana, you need to know, already drop, okay? So in the jhana, we cannot get any wandering thought, the mind you need to know, but the object is very clearly and happily. So then you're doing absorption for a few minutes, five to ten minutes time, you start to feel what the PT is feeling in your mind, and the body start to feel loose. And you don't feel your hand, you don't feel your leg, oh, the whole body from the start to loosen and disappear. When the body disappears, you should not worry. Some people worry, they open your eyes, their eyes, and where's my hand? They all drop concentration again, okay? Don't go and such. This is why the concentration naturally happen. Let it be what happened. So, okay, then so you feel light and comfortable, the mind just stick with the nimitta. So the nimitta in the end, the nimitta in the mind are pulling, you know, like a magnet. You're just trying to feel it, it cannot move. And then there's, uh, we call it, going to the absorption. And then from that, your mind start to feel it, the feeling from your habits, the general sweater start to arrive. Start to arrive, then you can see that, okay, PT Sukha is the beginning you have happening uh, in your mind. So that feeling start to contact with the nimitta also. So you feel that when you watch to the nimitta, it's one point of the mind. On that, knowing on the nimitta, you feel good with that. You feel PT Sukha happen. That PT Sukha feeling will come and join when knowing on the nimitta. Then only jhanas can last for a long time, one hour, two hours continuously. So you feel good with that feeling. Also, then you just doing absorption, okay? So then one hour absorption or two hour absorption, you're doing with determination. After one hour or two hour absorption, automatically it can come out. Don't worry, some part of it, if I go absorption, if I, I don't know how to come out, and if it cannot come out, they, they are worried about that, you know? Don't worry anything, okay? You are doing hope something and nothing happened, okay? Just relax, it automatically can come out. You know? So after absorption, you will feel that the mind immediately came out. When come out time, immediately we need to check in our heart base area. But now we cannot see the whole piece and the whole shape of the heart. Doesn't matter that you just trying to imagine about the area of the heart base. You know? Then you try in the beginning, you, when you're doing absorption, and your name is in front of the nostril. Imagine of the absorption, the mind trying to focus in the heart base. So you will see the refreshing, like a, in your habit, is like a mirror, and the nimitta is shine. The nimitta is the time connected with the mind already one hour. So when your mind is looking to the mirror, so the nimitta will be shine to the mirror, same as that. Your heart base here, the nimitta is uh, the mind is going to look at the heart base. At the same time, the light is reflect on that area. So you can feel that the bright light is inside the heart base in this way, okay? Only one second, no need to stay a few minutes, and then 10 to 20 minutes sometimes. If you don't know how to focus, that you easily can get pink. You know? Just reflect and such, and you feel the bright light just come back to the nostril again and concentrate on the nimitta again. Understand? Next time I will explain more detail, okay? <laughs> so, 
Then we start to check again, doing absorption again, one hour or two hours after a march of the jhana, trying to check again jhana's factor one by one. Just now I explained that in the first jhana, have five jhana's factor. So the jhana, you, when you're doing absorption, then you cannot check jhana factor, okay? Now, okay, the teacher told you that in the first jhana, have five jhana's factor. So you start to do your absorption time, you know, then you start to have feel about pity. So what meditator do it? Oh, now I start to feel pity. And then I said, oh, third jhana's factor. <laughs> do you think that? First thing there, okay? Oh, this is third jhana's factor. And then so can't have a, oh, this is a four jhana's. Oh, this must be one factor there. So they're creating, and then, you know, there's a, and the kind of investigation is not good for your jhana. You already dropped right there. You cannot do anything, so that any and, uh, no, no, noticing in this, why, why is it, why is it, don't cannot do that. Just let it be. Absorption is knowing on the object only for a long time. Just the feeling. In much of the absorption only we can check immediately and try to check first, first jhana feather, second, third, fourth, and fifth jhana feather. If you can feel a fight genus feather at the same time or one by one, that's only we can decide just now absorption at the first jhana. Okay? Now already first jhana, okay? Then after you, we also need to practice for five months study and then you feel very expert on the first jhana. And then after doing a few hours, a few times on the five months study, we will start to go to the second jhana. In the first jhana, we have very, we have the the first jhana have five jhanas better. Number one and number two, we take up and we chara, we call applying thought and sensitive thought. This is also one kind of the mind have to know, know and need to pay attention on the this anapana nimitta, anapana nimitta. When you do absorption time, the beginning we need to pay attention on that. So that one also comes of busy mind. Okay, we don't want to notice that. We want to let go, but we take up and we chara this. You can do the kind of determination, contemplating. And also another reason, first jhana is very close to the five hindrance. You know, five hindrance, uh, store and trouble, and then rest and sensual desire, aware, no? Tough. And then it's very close to the five hindrance. And then another, I don't want, I want to get highest jhana. There's reason, any time can drop. So I don't want first jhana, I want to go second jhana doing determination. After doing determination, your mind trying to absorb to the limit again. Doing first jhana for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. In much of the absorption, trying to concentrate again to the limit. Then slowly, slowly after for a while, we take out which are slowly drop. PT, Sukha, Ekakata, where we get stronger and stronger. PT can be very strong. That's all. Then, then, then you're doing absorption one hour or two hours. The time your mind is very strong, PT arises different from the first jhana. Better than the first jhana, you will feel there, very happy feeling. And then after in much absorption, in much of the second jhana, we need to check again in the husband how many jhanas fatter. So you will see the three jhanas fatter, PT, Sukha, Ekakata. Understand, okay? And it's still not <laughs> very difficult. Next time, next time, okay? Now just learn. And then after that, we're trying to go into a third jhana. In the second jhana, pity is very strong. That pity also can create kind of emotion. So we don't want any kind of emotion. We want to get stable mind, very quiet jhana, and a powerful mind. So that's the reason. We don't want PT, we want to go to the third jhana, then doing determination, after determination, the mind trying to concentrate on the nimitta again. And all the time nimitta will create and stay away at the time. No need to worry. The beginning only difficult. In the end, all the time, as soon as you close your eye and think about the breath, the clear light is always there. Never drop again, okay? The beginning, when you're doing absorption too early, the color is never turned to the clear. You only see the color, you go and do absorption. After 20 minutes, can we draw again? Can we draw again? Limit always disappear in this way. Some meditator, I saw that they told they already for, they have been already practiced for jhana. So now I asked them to practice so that you cannot see any limit again. So why? Because when they do absorption in the beginning, the first time, their limit is not clear at all. So we can tell that why jhana drop because the limit is not clear at all. So they cannot maintain for that long time for that jhana. Understand? So there's the reason. If you get a clear limit at the beginning, difficult for you to get clear limit. But one time you are successful for the whole life, never drop again. As soon as you close your eyes, think about the breath, the clear light is always there. Understand? There's a difference. And also, because the limit is clear, 
when you want to see 32 part of body, it's very easy, yeah? very transparent inside the glass, like that you can see. If the nematite is not clear, you can't penetrate much. It's different too. Okay, so don't be lazy and be patient and wait and be clear and stable for the whole life. Then and then you start to absorb again to the nematite, go into the first genera terminus, second genera terminus. After that, with PT, where we slowly drop and only suka and ekakada, two jana sweta and then third jana, okay? Then after that, third jana, do you must study again and again? Then third jana, also we don't want, we want to go fourth jana. Okay, we're going for jana as we in the third jana have sukha. We don't want su we don't want happiness. We want to go to the fourth jana highest one. Then after determination, trying to do again absorption to the nemeta. On the nemeta, going one to second after the third jana. After third jana, absorb again deeply. Then sukha automatically disappear, dropping. Then only one part of the mind absorb to the nemeta. When sukha disappear, equanimity characteristic coming in. So in the four jana, we still have two jana sweater. So we can check the student when they do absorption four jana, how many jana sweater we ask. So they told us one jana sweater, only one characteristic. Why did the sukha go away? We call the five jana sweater, drop, 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 sukha. In the third jana, have two jana sweater, happiness and one partner of the mind. So come into the four jana, sukha go away, they think they're only one pattern of mind. And they didn't know, they didn't realize what economity come in. So in the four jana, we have to see two jana sweater, economity and one pattern of the mind. So there's a difference. So after that, you're trying to do absorption, come, when you reach the four jana level, the mind is very calm and very peaceful. And the only like, you know, your body didn't move, it only like a stone, you know, they just stop there and the mind is really absorbed and so there is deep absorption. The mind was very powerful, you're doing one hour, very, very clear and very sharp. There's a power from the concentration. After one hour or two hour absorption, come out from the absorption, you're trying to check, you can see two genus factor. There's four jhana, okay? So we can practice jhana and the uh, anapanasati and the four jhana, not more than four jhana. So first to the four is we call rupa jana. You know? So there's, and just now I was mentioned there, emptiness about rupa. I'm uh, uh, sorry, uh, emptiness or nama. Emptiness or nama is yes, okay. Who want to go? People think that now we have mind and matter, the body and the mind. Okay, we got the mind and matter. Sometimes because of the mind creating so many things, so many problems, so. Okay, some people had that kind of idea, a new idea happened. Why not? Our, our body is only the body without mind. It will be very good for us. It is true? Do you feel this way sometimes? Some people had that, there is a time, uh, okay, nowadays it happened on our testament, the time of the, before Buddha uh, happening, we are out of the Buddha sasana, that kind of idea. So they also have practice in jhana and that. So they have that idea, so they was creating their mind. I don't want any kinds of mind in my body. After dying, I just want to stay in somewhere, only body. As they pray that. But before that, they have been practicing until four jhana. They had that kind. Without jhana, you cannot create. After practicing four jhana only, that whole sun come up with support for that. Your, what you want, you can get. Okay? Okay, now you want to go to in some country, okay? Like Austria, you want to go to Austria, what you need? You need ticket, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Without ticket, you can't go, okay? But for this ticket, you need enough money. The money is not enough. Although you want to go, you cannot go, understand? So you need the ticket, religious ticket is guaranteed for you to go or not. Although you have intention to go, Brahma ring. Brahma ring is a Arupa immaterial material ring with highest ring. You want to go, but you don't have good marriage, good karma with you. Although you want to go, you cannot go, okay? If you have good karma, enough for your ticket, oh, now tomorrow I want to go, by tonight, okay? Very easy <laughs> from computer, okay? Then tomorrow you have ticket, you can go it. Understand? In this way. So now the creator, okay, I want to go to only Rupa form. I don't want any mind in my body. Because of this mind, we have so much suffering. It is true? It is true? Yeah. 
True or not? <laughs> okay, you have this. The mind is creating, controlling many things. I want this, I want that. Many, many things. This is a mind control. So I don't want any mind. I just want body. So that is the reason. They also have good karma. After they die, they went to the four jhana plane. In the, we had the first jhana rain, second jhana, third jhana, four jhana rain. We had 16 plane. There is four jhana plane that we call asinyata plane. The brain, that area has only rupa, no nama at all. And many, many people are there, many Brahma are there. All the Brahma are like a stone, sit down, sit down, sit down, and just stop. <laughs> you know, just stop there, nothing to do. Because no mind, never controlled by the mind, don't want to eat, nothing to do, just stop there. So how much you had that lifespan? They went straight and did the whole lifespan, you know, how many, how many years, and then long life, long life, because the four jhana is very long lifespan. So some kinds of people, they will stay there for many, many, nothing to do, no need to wash, okay? <laughs> but just stop there, and with the body, you know? This we can call at that place, no nama, it's the, empty, uh, it's the emptiness of mind. Understand? Only rupa body form, okay? There is one kind of emptiness. Another one, we would like to explain that after four jhana, four jhana, okay, four jhana finish, uh, there is material jhana. We have immaterial jhana, only consciousness frames, no rupa, no body form. <laughs> so, okay, just now four jhana, one asanyata, only body, okay? Another one is coming to the fifth jhana, sixth jhana, seventh jhana, eighth jhana frames. The frames only consciousness, no body. So when they practice jhana again and again, the time before Buddha happened in our universe, uh, last time people like to practice for jhana. So the kind of people have very strong parami and good karma. So they will create again in their mind. I don't want to get any body. Because of this body, we have to fit them. This is very busy for us. All need the mind. I just want to stay with a quiet and peaceful feeling. The kind of idea again. But they have been practicing the Dhamma and the Arupa, uh, jana, Arupa Jana, they knew how to practice. So there's reason they create again. I don't want any body, only consciousness may be good. I just want to stay with Jana feeling, peaceful feeling. There's a reason they create again, doing determination. Then after they die, depends on their practice. Some people emphasize a lot about fifth Jana. They like it very much about fifth Jana. Is it interesting about that? So also one reason, they just want to go to their consciousness arena. They don't want body. So when after they die, they reborn in the fifth jhana plane. Okay? Some people are analyzing about six jhanas. They like it very much. Other jhana, they are not interested. So when they die, they will reborn in the sixth jhana arena. Only consciousness, no body. No more form. There's also fifth jhana, sixth jhana, seventh jhana, eighth jhana. So we, we need to know about this. This is the system of universe. Now we are living inside the u universe, okay? So how the universe happens, okay? We have 31 planes in this universe. The top of the universe, we have four layers, four planes, Arupa Jana plane, in, in material Jana rain, four rain, okay? So eight Jana, seven Jana, six Jana, fifth Jana, going down from the top to the down, okay? So you can see the four layer. After four layer, you will start to feel the material rains. We call four jhana rain, third jhana rain, second jhana rain, and first jhana rain. On this four to the four, four up to the first first jhana, we can see the system brains. Okay, but we just know roughly. Okay, so just now four arupa and now sixteen rupa jhana. Or how many? 20 brains already, okay? 20 brains in this universe. That is the top one, you know? But you, for this first jhana to eight jhana range, so you need to practice jhana. If you have never practiced jhana, you don't have experience about jhana, you want to go, also you cannot go. Okay, that is the highest in the universe, you know? After that, you will start to feel about six layer of the heaven. Devas and deity are living there. So for this six layer, Depends on your karma in the previous lifetime, in the human lifetime. Some people like to do dana, some people like to do by giving the precept and the meditation. That karma will support you to go to the heaven. Easy to go, okay? The one is easy. Without jhana, you can go there, to the heaven. 
need to clean out, okay, very important. So that it simply cannot go. Right? You are doing it, you need to contact, co communicate. That's only where we, you want to go, you need to decide. And because of your decision, you have to practice, okay? So this layer of dewaring, because of good karma, you can go there, you can reborn there. Depends on your your practice. In the previous lifetime, you might do very, very hap with happiness and you're doing good things, a lot of good karma. When you reborn in the heaven, you will get beautiful deity form, uh, very bright and very good properties will happen to you. If your marriage is not so good, a little death, you are not so bright, not so beautiful as others. Don't get fighting with each other, okay? Don't get jealous with other deities. You just contemplate that when I was in human beings, my marriage is not so good, so I have that, that ability, okay? Trying to be happy. And then why I remind you to do this? If not, you have forgot about what my reminding you. You go in there, you are not so bright, not so beautiful, others beautiful. You will start to get jealous and angry. Imagery, you can die in there, okay? Imagery will drop, okay? It cannot last for a long time. It cannot get anger so much in the heaven, okay? <laughs> it's important, I just remind you, okay? <laughs> because and also you need to understand in the heaven, when they want have 500 deities, at least 500 deities, some group, they want have 1,000. And you know, Brahm, uh, the, the king of Dewa, we call Satcha, you know, your to the Tikkawa. He had millions of wives, you know, many, many thousands of wives that don't want jealous too, okay? There's demands and there's their, their condition. To them, it's very, there's normal. Okay, in human, do you are criticized and many things will happen. The day is normal, we do remember they are karma. Your karma is good, you have many followers. You know, followers. The day I already explained the matter. Why you get many followers? Why? You know, remember or not? Quickly answer. <laughs> jealousy, okay? If you have jealousy, no follower. If you don't have jealousy, a lot of followers. Remember, no? There's all a content, you know, can communicate. Can communicate. The, the Dharma is, sorry? No, no, for the Dewaran. For the Dewaran, no? for deities and Dewa have, only a Rupa Jana is no body form. Rupa have body form, and body, mind, body, mind and body. Now, explain about the Dewaran. Dewaran says Dewaran deities, Dewa have body form and the mind and the body too. And okay. So after Dewa, in the Dewaran, some people like to enjoy and they will be happy with the, um, the, God, the environment and then with their followers, forgot about meditation. This cannot last long time. After you die, you stay going back to the animal life or any human life again, okay? Some have good parami, you come here and meditate, you are interested for meditation, happy with meditation, oh, you might get the kind of wish you need. If you want to go to the heaven, you need to know the kind of determination. Oh, I will go to the heaven. I want to be a meditator devas. You know, <laughs> meditator devas, your wish is important, okay? <laughs> then only when you reach there, you want to meditate. So you will meet well, many meditation teacher and teaching other dharma so you can learn more. And you can practice some dewa, practice meditation. After that, they go into the arhant, to be arhant. If some people, they don't like to meditate, they just enjoy it. That's also, after they die, they have to go in down again. That's a different, okay? And don't think that all the dewa is good. <laughs> Depends on how you are, what you want. This is also different, okay? Also, after dewa, this spring, now 26 spring already. After they were in now our human beings, okay? Our human being also one kind of being one layer. After the human, we start to see the animal, spirit, ghosts, demons, and the hell being for asuya, okay? Foreign. Foreign and our human being is a, you can see that our besides animal, you can see same level. With human and animal are same level, it is true? Don't get angry with me now. You just check. <laughs> uh, we sang many animals, okay? How about the ghost? See. Same level, okay? <laughs> ghost read all same level with us. You, you can see that. How, why you have to proud? <laughs> no need to be proud. We are very, very dangerous. Because uh, we were used to it, we like to see our neighbor what they are doing, okay? Animal, what they like to do? 
they like to kill each other, they want to fight each other, they like to get jealous each other. It is true. So when you see many times, you also like to do that kind of character. You want to do it. Do you, do you understand? You are, you are following what they are doing. Brahma reign, what they are doing. Only jhana, practice peacefully, no, nobody fighting, no jealous, you know. <laughs> There's a different, different layer, had different condition. The mind is also different. You know, we are creating our mind, it's like a drawing out of picture, you know. What you want, what kind of picture you want, you are drawing. Karma is you are creating the picture, understand? If you want good picture, you are drawing a beautiful picture. Then you are reborn in a good place. Now you are drawing a bad picture, bad intention, and bad picture has happened, you are reborn in a bad place. Understand? So the humans are a bit dangerous. You can get human life because of very good karma you have done in the previous lifetime, but also very dangerous is we can drop because of, you, you follow in about the animal character. Go after you die, go into the animal life. You follow in about and again any others back in back karmas. You also can go directly to the hell or and it's freeze and goes. There's a certain the nature too. So you can see that all 31 brains. In this 31 brain, just now we explain is that no consciousness, only Rupa is in the four jhana range. Okay, 16 range of us to the four jhana range. And that area we call Asinyata, they were Brahma range. They can reborn in there. And also because of no consciousness, you don't need to worry, no need to quarrel, no need to work hard. Okay, just sit down and wait and the lights will finish. That's also not so good idea, okay? <laughs> you have to wait a long time. Then another time, just now I already explained, only they want to stay with consciousness. So what is this reason? They pray and they practice and they, you, they get Arupa Jana. After successful Arupa Jana, they can choose where they want to go. They can be reborn in fifth Jana, sixth Jana, or seventh Jana. They can choose and they can stay there. Also, the lifespan was very, very long. You can stay there, okay? Understand? No? So for the spring only consciousness, how to practice this fifth jhana, sixth jhana, seventh jhana, eighth jhana, also very important to practice, okay? Just now I already explained about four jhana, how to go to the fourth jhana. You have the nimitta, on the kriya nimitta you are doing absorption. Cannot, the nimitta cannot disappear, okay? All the time the object must be obvious for the absorption, knowing, knowing, knowing. So okay, now in March of the fourth jhana, now we want to go to the fifth jhana. So we need to do that, okay, I want the body as also kind of sovereign. We don't want body for now. We just want to go to the Arupa range. Also for this, I want to, in front side, I want to go to the space, in the space object. So there's a reason I want to go to the fifth jhana during determination. After that, you have to take again the object. Then once we cannot go by the Anapana Nimitta already to the fifth jhana. Anapana Nimitta, Anapana object can practice only four jhana. So we have to practice different ways. Ten Kasina, you might heard about it. White Kasina, Yellow Kasina, Red Kasina, and Brown Kasina, Kala Kasina. You know? Kasina means you concentrate on the one of the, okay, White Kasina, you just, you can, okay, mainly we teach the, the student is you concentrate on your body, you will see by your skeleton. After you see skeleton, you concentrate on the, the skull, on the, lens, on the head area, and trying to concentrate there, trying to think about white, white, white. The whole skeleton becomes very white cycle happen. After you see about the white object, stay with there for a while, five to ten minutes time, the white and they very stable. After the white color is stable, our mind trying to spread. The mind spread, so then the object also can be slowly become bigger spreading. So every direction we need to spread. So the white color spread to every direction. Understand? Eh? So like in the sky, you see a cloud moving, and so it depends on your parami. Some people, as soon as they want their intention want to spread everywhere, they can spread very within short time. Some people have to take long time. So for them, they have to spread one feet, another feet, another feet, slowly, slowly, okay? <laughs> they also don't get jealous, okay? It depends on your practice and your parami. So if you can spread immediately to every direction, it's very good. And stay for a while. After that, you concentrate in front of you, one area, trying to concentrate on one at the white object. Then you just stay with there, doing absorption, and you just you just stay on there, object, white object, and trying to concentrate again. And then start to go into the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana, same at Anapana's jhana, first to four. That's easier to focus on a white casino object. 
for the fifth jhana, we think again after four jhana, imagine after four jhana, white object again. On the white object, we need to penetrate. So when you concentrate this four jhana, you already have four jhana concentration. So that way we support you to penetrate what you want to know. So when you concentrate on the white object, you will start to feel many holes, small, small holes. The hole is, okay, we call that that is a space. Why we can tell that we have any kinds of object, it's all art. And uh, if we can penetrate by Vipassana knowledge, you will see that all are ultimate, ultimate reality. Many particles are joined together. Now you see that, okay, that one other brick, you know. You see that one piece, solid. When you found it, you break it down, you will see that all are becomes powder and like this, small particles are happening. Same as that. Just yesterday, I already explained about coming to the Rupa particles. In the white color object, you might see that the white color or white casino, white object. But concentrate, when you concentrate inside the nemeta, nemeta or inside the white object, you don't see white piece. Slowly, you will see many holes are joined to the particles. So you choose one of the small holes. Then it's you, your mind trying to penetrate inside. And think about that. There is the space, space, space. And then the mind starts to fall in there. Then you will feel that after for a while, the mind is going into the space. Very freedom, and the mind is totally quiet and very peaceful. Tranquility and equanimity within happen. You cannot get pity to kind, no? Fifth jana. <laughs> so many people are told that fifth jana, sixth jana, how they are very happy, you know? <laughs> so we know the answer, but we don't want to tell, okay? Cannot get only pity sukha, that's must remember. Because of fifth jana, sixth jana, seventh jana, eighth jana, only pity, uh, one point in their mind, uh, equanimity in mind, only two janas better only. And the mind was already tranquility, very equanimity, just knowing on the object only. Understand? The knowing is consciousness only. Okay? After you're trying to concentrate on the space, 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 there is a fifth jhana object. After fifth jhana, we want to go to the sixth jhana. Going to the sixth jhana object is consciousness, contemplating on the only consciousness. Consciousness is arising in where? The mind happen in where? Yesterday we already explained, huh? and the habit is the feeling, all the feeling, good and bad feeling, all the time happen in your habits. So then we need to believe that the mind is inside the habits. So there's really just now on the fifth general object, space object. So when you concentrate on the space, 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 the time our mind is contemplating inside our habits, knowing. The mind knowing in the habits, you will feel the feeling of equanimity and the feeling of one fortunate mind is happening. If next time if you practice Nama session, mind session, you will understand. When you practice four jhana time, 31 chitta and chitta mind and consciousness and matter factors are arising, arising, arising. Understand? Now, because of we, we know your practice today, so very difficult for me to explain, okay? Just trying to understand by jhana's factor first. The next step only we can study more about consciousness and matter factors, okay? In the third jhana time, you can see that 30, 30, 30, 30, 32, 31 jhana factor. In the second jhana time, 30, 32, sorry, 32 jhana factor. In the first jhana time, 34 matter factors, jhana, chitta and chirisika. All are different levels of mind as happen. If we don't know how to check by your husband, we don't know how to check by mind or thought process, we don't understand. <laughs> I'll continue. Eh? Listen carefully. Eh? Okay, later on I will ask one by one. Okay. <laughs> First jhana, how many jhanas better? Really, I will ask. So I can see how's your wisdom. How deep for concentration? That we can check after six days of practice. Okay. So now come into the fifth jhana. Okay, fifth jhana. Eh, one point of the mind and equanimity mind. Two jhanas better. Okay, very quietly happen. Then go into the six jhanas. In the beginning, fifth jhana, we are contemplating and knowing on the fifth, object, fifth jhana object, space, space, space. Now, our mind trying to contemplate in your habits area, only consciousness, knowing, knowing the feeling only. We want to concentrate only the mind. Knowing, 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 knowing on that just now is the space. Now, it's just now concentrate on this feeling of the knowing. That's what we call vinyana, ninchaya, jhana, knowing on the contemplate by consciousness. Okay? The sixth jhana object. And also another one is a number seven jhana. And number seven jhana is just now we have the, when you practice sixth jhana, going to the consciousness, the mind is contemplating the consciousness, 
the fifth jhana object will disappear. Understand? Space, knowing of the space will disappear because of you taking in the consciousness. Understand? Understand? Oh, okay. The, okay, going back again. Fifth jhana. <laughs> Fifth jhana object is a uh, space, okay? Space object, you know that space, space, space. There is a fifth jhana object. Sixth jhana object is not on the space, knowing. Just now we know that we contemplate on the space is we have consciousness knowing on the space. Now our intention is want to know on this consciousness, knowing on it, contemplating on the knowing, knowing is sixth jhana object, contemplating on consciousness, okay? Now go into the seven jhana object. Seven jhana object is when you come into the six jhana object, understand? Con come into the consciousness, fifth jhana object will disappear. The mind is not interested on the fifth jhana, not interested on the space, understand? The space object will disappear. The disappearance of the, of the object of the space, knowing of the space is um, we call emptiness, no rupa object in our mind. Understand? Understand? No space, not knowing of the space. Understand? This is what we call nothingness. Okay? Nothingness, nothingness object, no object. Okay? Only knowing object is a consciousness after that continues. The knowing again on that, knowing of the object is nothingness, nothingness, nothingness. Contemplating on nothingness is we call seven jhana object. Understand? So for the seven jhana object, we don't have rupa. On past, stay have consciousness. Don't forget about that. Okay. People think that nothingness, nothingness. Doing practicing about jhana, nothingness. We don't have mind. We don't have body. They think that not true. Okay. And they arupa jhana, eight jhana. We have consciousness. Consciousness cannot last. Understand? So, so some some teacher also teach that now you are going to the space space, knowing the space, and after space you will be disappear. No more rupa, no more nama. <laughs> okay, cannot be this way. Or oh, fifth jhana space, okay, object, but the mind must be known. The mind cannot last. The mind is stay there because of arupa jhana. The mind is set a very set a very very soft. Understand? Now, we contemplate about seven jhana object nothingness. No object at all, but the mind stay have knowing of the nothingness, contemplating on nothingness, nothingness, nothingness there. So we just continue with that. The time the mind is very quiet and very peaceful. Okay, no rupa at all, only consciousness. This we can call it emptiness of rupa. Just now, emptiness of nama in the four jhana rain. Now come into the seven jhana. No emptiness of rupa, and uh, sorry, emptiness of all other object, but only the mind, only the consciousness. Okay, then after that, we will contemplate again eight jhana object. Eight jhana object is uh, the highest jhana. So when you enter to the eight jhana, just now we contemplate on the seven jhana object, it's emptiness, emptiness. Now we contemplate again on that object of emptiness. Knowing of the emptiness is very good and very fine, and it's very good. So you had contemplated about the goodness of emptiness, okay? So trying to think, oh, emptiness is very good, just speak in this way, okay? Oh, emptiness is very fine, very good for me, that's the way. You just contemplate again, think about the quality of emptiness. The time in the mind's level is in the habit, you, sometimes you have fever, very subtle. Sometimes you don't feel really, but stay happy. Because of your samadhi was very, very, and the minds are very subtle, so you don't feel sometimes. But stay there. So you need to be very awareness on that. Because of that, they call it this jhana, a jhana, says the name of a jhana is neither perception or non perception. Perception means you knowing on that object sometimes, sometimes you don't feel it, but stay there. The mind is there. Understand? This also emptiness, emptiness object too. So we can see that in different ways. And if you want to go in that place, you have to practice anti ajana. And also another one, number three, emptiness of mind and matter. Okay. So for this people, uh, for ordinary people, you can practice. Okay. Ordinary means uh, who are not yet attend sotapan. Okay, <laughs> normal people, okay, Noya Sotopan, Noya Anaga, Noya Arahant, 
just Zimbabwe, okay? They want to practice, they like to practice jhana, okay? Happy, happy feeling, they like it. They want to enjoy in the jhana. They will practice and the eight jhana, okay? Okay, they will choose it. I don't want to go in the, I don't want to get the mind, only I want to stay with body, okay? For jhana practice. I want to go only the mind, I don't want to get body. Go seven jhana, eight jhana. Okay, fifth jhana, doesn't matter, you can choose it. You can practice jhana. After that, where you want to go, you can go. Now, another one is emptiness as nirvana object. Nirvana have no more rupa, no more nama. Understand? No nama, no rupa. The one is how we can practice. Only, and we call it, you can start from there, it's neurasma bhati. Neurasma bhati is a statement of cessation. Cessation is contemplating about nirvana. It's a two types of nirvana contemplating. After Sotapan or Anaga, you can contemplate that you can think about the Nirvana object. The one's attainment of fruition. We still have consciousness, knowing, taking out the piece of Nirvana. Understand? When you want to take the piece of Nirvana, you have to practice what is a Nirvana, the first. If not, how to contemplate? Understand? Who, after practicing Sotapan, only easier to practice this one. If not, you cannot practice this attainment of fruition. The another one of the another one is attainment of cessation. The one is we call nirvana samapati, very high practice. The one is non consciousness. Stop for seven days. Venerable Sariputra, they have they all like to practice seven days. Nirvana samapati, they call it non consciousness. Only thinking the nibbana object only. The time also seven days after seven days only can wake up. Then, but the highest merit is there. So I'm very going off of that. Immediately can be rich. You know, many stories you can see there. Because of the enter, that's Nirvana Samapati, called it, Damon of Cessation. Very high merits and very good. Only Anagan and Arahan can do it. Understand? Damon of Cessation, only non returner and Arahan type, these two type of people only can do. But these two also must emphasize jhana. If they don't know how, they never practice jhana, they cannot enter that nirvana samabhati, attainment of sensation. Okay, this basis one very important. Also, we, yesterday I already explained about Anatta Pendika Vara Sota, and the Venerable Sariputra was teaching to the death director, start from the Vipassana, the Rari. No? He didn't explain about Anapanasati or Jhana or death. He didn't explain in that sort of beginning practice. Why? He was already sort of and He knew that why is a form of a true. Okay, he understood that. For those people, we don't need to explain in clearly how to practice for the basis one. So now in this case, also same. For those who want to practice to be a Nirasama, but up to the Arahant, and taking other Nibbana object, to them, say, because they are anagan only can do, non returner only can practice, and Arahan only can practice this. So for them, we don't need to explain anapanasti and dependent origination. They knew that, okay, they have that knowledge, they already practice. So they already practiced many, many times, they had that knowledge. They just started, like the Buddha and Venerable Sariputra and Mogalana, when they practice to be Arahant, they don't need to realize again, again because they have already practiced Namarupa, everything. So when they practice what jhana object they did the first time, yesterday I already explained that. Okay, like uh, you had did uh, the first jhana, depends on your uh, your wish. Some people like the first jhana feeling is very close and very very good feeling with them. Some people like third jhana, some people, some people like a seven jhana, eight jhana, <coughs> depends on you. So you can choose one of the jhana. Which jhana you prefer? Then trying to concentrate again on this jhana object. We just now explain in the first jhana you attend. Okay, trying to do absorption one hour. In this one hour, we have two kinds of the beginning knowing of the nimitta. We call upright thought. You know that this anapana nimitta is knowing of the objects upright thought. Okay, the sustained thought is following my mind or thought process continuously knowing, 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 knowing on the object. In this mind door thought process, you can see the 34 jhanas, 34 chitta and chitta sika. Chitta means consciousness. Chitta sika means the metaphetus, different kinds of metaphetus. So 34 chitta and chitta sika are arising and passing in your mind door thought process many, 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 many times. One hour continuously have been 34 mind door, the metaphetus are arising with mind door thought process. So, 
Then in the jhana time, we cannot do vipassana. Understand? We have to practice now vipassana for this niyara samapati, attainment of cessation. Without vipassana, you cannot attain by this nirvana. So we, we cannot attach on the jhana. On that jhana object or the chitta and chitta we have to practice vipassana. So now we need to know why is a jhana object. It's a jhana object 34, chitta and chitta now. You know, only consciousness, the mind, we have to take it this mind to contemplate about impermanent suffering not self. So we need to know how the mind or thought process happened, arising and passing away about jhana's mind or thought process. Understand? After you see the mind or thought process, only you can start to do it. In March, after absorption, only we will start to practice about vipassana. So you see again, so the following mind can practice vipassana. Understand? Some teacher teach in U.S. also. Some of the Mahathira too. Uh, year 2000, we have Jana's, Jana's conference in New Mexico. They have invited me, so I went there. One of the Mahathira also came from the Sri Lanka. So he was mentioned, he, 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 uh, he was the, the first and the speaker. He was taught about the Jana. All we had to increase, uh, we had to, uh, to explain about Jana, how you practice. So we had this very discussion. So the monks, were t the, the Mahathira were telling that, okay, we're doing absorption for one hour. When you start to do absorption, in this absorption time, you also can contemplate about vipassana. Doing vipassana is impermanent, something not said. He was mentioning that. And then I knew that it's not true. Then for me, it's difficult to tell because he was very cool. <laughs> you know, I'm a nun. I cannot tell you are not right. It's very, very bad for me. It's also no good because our Asia culture respect very cool. So Western culture is different. If they go on, they don't care. You think that it's not right, they want to tell it. You know? So then after that, my turn. So I just talked and said, but if I tell her in this way, obviously it's not so good. So I just explained about what is a jhana sweater, how to practice jhana. Then at the end of my talk, the Daviku already, the time the Daviku already went back, the next day, they asked me that question. Sister, we, we, we know that the jhana Inside the jhana, I cannot do it. But now, how do you feel? The bandit was talking about, I can do it inside the jhana. They was asked me that question, so it difficult for me. So anyway, all our jhana teacher, if I'm not answer for that, it will be difficult for the Buddha's teaching, very dangerous. You know? So anyway, I have to explain, cannot, impossible. Jhana is only absorption mind. We cannot contemplate anything, but we cannot do what we pass now. If you contemplate what it is, impermanent, something not or out of the jhana. Okay? Okay, this is the reason we have to explain. So when I did explain, was they were agreed at that because I didn't knew this. Then, in this way, after absorption only, in March of the absorption, in May 20, we had the feeling stay there, happiness are there. Continuously trying to recover again, just now this is how the absorption might happen, so the feeling is starting to arise again. At that time, only we can contemplate about, oh, now I start to see about chitta, consciousness. Uh, some people cannot do one by one. Only Venerable Sariputra can do it. Buddha and Venerable Sariputra, only two people can do it. One chitta doing impermanent something or say. And then the so feeling, impermanent suffering, not self. One by one, every contrary state, every general matter factors, they did impermanent suffering, not self. That's their wisdom very short. Buddha and Sarapotra wisdom is no one can fight. They are very, very high because of the way they practice or vipassana is different. For the other ordinary people, okay, now we see the 34 matter factors, they could see the mind too. Consciousness and matter factors, but they cannot do like uh, Bodhinara, Sariputta, and Buddha. So when they see the reform matter factors, okay, arising out of the reform matter factors, passing away by the reform matter factors, and Chirisika, impermanent suffering, not say. Okay? So there is also Vipassana, but there are, because of the way they practice, it is not so deep as Bodhinara, Sariputta, and Buddha. So they are always not strong. Then they do Vipassana again, again, but that mind or thought process. And then also can reach and where you want to go. It depends on you. Easily you can get the first okay, the first attainment. Either Sotapan or Sakaraga. That's what you easily can do. If you really want to go near the Samapati, also depends on you, how you can practice Vipassana on that jhana. So mainly we emphasize the first jhana to going systematically on the eight jhana. Very easier to go about the Niyarasamapati. 
because age and the mind is very subtle and very 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 subtle. Sometimes you feel, sometimes you don't feel good. You, you don't really feel about perception. So the time you just contemplate about the mind or thought process. So very attached jhana, the minds are already very close to the nibbana feeling, but different to nibbana object and the eight jhana feeling is different. But the, the sensation of peace are mostly okay, uh, okay, hundred percent and seventy percent. You know the feeling, understand? Hundred, but same all kinds of peacefulness. In the eight jhana, you don't have defilement by body. You don't have development about the mind. The mind already very sad, not much development, very cut, already cut out so many things, okay? So very shadow mind only. Then Nibbana object is no mind. Do you understand? No mind and very shadow mind. There's a difference. Okay, so very quiet and very peaceful. So for those people, if you can practice Vipassana on the eight jhana object or the mind or thought process, after four while, it already enter to the Niyara Samabhati. Attainment of cessation. So they can practice. I find and can tell that very easy. Me, neurons, my body is non consciousness, non mind. Only before they enter neurons, my body, the term my body, only thinking on the nirvana object only. So when you start to when 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 to enter the neurons, my body, before you taking the nirvana object, you need to do determination. Okay, I will enter the neurons, my body for seven days. Uh, after that, you're just trying to take a nirvana object again. Then after that, you're trying to do vipassana. After for a while, the mind was stuck because already originally the jhana's basis one is sometimes appear, sometimes perception not clear. Very close to the closing of the mind. Now when you enter to the nirvana object, it's already stopped. That's we call nirvana samadhi, non-consciousness at all. Understand? So can stay seven day. There's already and you don't have any suffering. And the body was sitting there for 70. People come and burn you, okay, but cannot, when you are entering the manner time, people come and put fire, but the fire is finished, and your body is dead. <laughs> okay, because of the quality of nirvana, you know, cannot burn, you know. Also same as if even there are many robbers, when the one of the big who are entering on the neurons, many robbers, uh, they, they were some, and a robber by the, the many, and a big, I think big package, and then they, they brought from the others, and they drove on that. They didn't know night time that the vehicle was there. They just drove away, told the road, then say, early in the morning, and then they just pick up the, the things. I finished that the vehicle was there. They were so scared and very, and very frightened, but because of Neuras, my body, the vehicle didn't know what they are doing. Huh? In this way, so the other samadhi is very powerful. Only anagan and arhan can do it, and also we need to know how to practice. This is very important. Okay, okay. So if you want to practice, come. I will explain how to practice. Okay. <laughs> so it's so very interesting and very very good for you. you can let go of our attachment, but. Before practice this one, we need to practice and this sort of one. We need to understand what four noble truth cannot jam imagery, cannot be successful. The four noble truth, the truth of the suffering, the origin of the suffering, you know, the way you did into the suffering, the cessation of the suffering, and it is all for, for not to know what truth we have to practice and this sort of one first. After that, only easier for you. In this way, we're trying to contemplate, and it is Nibbana object. This is temporary. After seven days, the mind happen again. So it's not yet enter nirvana, temporary nirvana, okay? But you know the face, the face of the nirvana. After that, day, you get an arahant. After arahant, you stay, need to stay on until your lifespan finish, like a Buddha. And whenever many bhikkhus, after arahant, they still need to go in on, carry on their mind and body, and then they enter to the nirvana. The last day, we call it like a Buddha. And the last day of their lives, and the last moment, they will enter again, again to the nirvana object. The last moment, okay, after that, they die. After that consciousness, when that consciousness arrives, no more consciousness, they already enter to the nirvana. Nirvana, where needs a nirvana? Nowhere. <laughs> no place, not in this 31 universe. In this universe, in this 31 place, we cannot show where is the nirvana. Nothing else. No, nama, not in the pure land, no? Don't miss where they are. People think that Nibbana is pure land. That is also not true. Because of, I could see in Taiwan and many Chinese Mahayana background, they told that Nibbana, the pure land is many, many drawing, you know? But Nibbana, real Nibbana don't have, you know? <laughs> no, nama, no rupa. Understand? 
They told that in the university, they want to put a meditation, also one of the Dhamma subjects, and they, they want to learn about in university in Taipei. So they were invited a few professors to discuss with me. So Theravada teaching, also they want to put in there. So how beautiful, you know, so I had to try hard. When you go and teach to the other place, you have to be humble. Here also may get many teachers, okay, in the future. You cannot show that I'm a teacher and uh, this, I know everything, you know, cannot do it in this way. You need to be humble, you have to add that you don't know anything, you know. Okay, <laughs> okay, you have to do it in this way. When you already fight, only you fight back, okay? <laughs> In this way, eventually, if not, you, anywhere you go, you will have problem because of your ego, I'm a teacher, or I know everything, you don't know this, and then, there's a lot of argument will happen. You need to be very humble, then everywhere you go. For me, Christian background is very good. Everywhere I go, and then uh, since 10 years ago, then again, Manchester University, Oxford University, all the students are Christian, not Buddhist at all. They support me a lot all the time. They learn the Dharma, they practice with me meditation. I didn't talk about religion because I do, I do not understand about well, your background, Christian background, I do not understand. And I also don't talk about anything, I just talk about meditation. You want to learn, come and learn. So okay, so we have very good relationship. So all support each other. Many Christians after that they change to the Buddhism too. I explain basis only. What we teach, Buddhism learn about loving kindness. We emphasize about preset. Five percent. We don't want to kill all the beings. We use compassion mind, loving kindness mind to the beings. They can accept. Understand? So we cannot take the Awada is uh, very good. Only Buddhism is the best. We cannot take in this way. Then you will be, they will be shoot you out. Okay, very soon. <laughs> okay, so we have to go very very low key. No, and that's only they will un understand there. No. Okay. So even Muslim in Indonesia, Jakarta, when I teach. They came and join. Muslims are not easy to change, no? They came and practice. They go to jhana also. They could sit for our five hours, five hours continuously. So after the end of the retreat, they, they are very, very happy. And then many, a few of the Muslims were changed to the Buddhism. Not easy, you no? And also in the kitchen, all the helpers are all are Muslim, you know? In this retreat, all are Muslims. So I went there. They are very happy. So I just make a good friend, OK? <laughs> It's the, the, we should not hope I'm none they have to respect to me. If you hope about that, you have to suffer. Understand? You always want to get monks and nuns. They want always attention from the people. They want all the time respect from the people. There's suffering too. Because of that, the problems happen. Understand? So not, nothing special. We always think that since we were young, we learned that Nama and Rupa, nothing special. Particles only, okay? <laughs> it's when you contemplate, close your eyes, you want to think about God, particles, easy. Because now we don't want to enter our hunt. Why? I have to do many things, okay? <laughs> Same as your, okay, excuse, okay? I have to do something. <laughs> because of that, I know you enter. I know you come to the monastery, you will show me that, okay? Same as that. But we practice, just now one I explain is from our practical, uh, practically what we practice. Although you not yet enter to the nirvana, you need to know how to practice. You have to practice again and again until the gate. Understand? Until the gate. If you really want to enter nirvana, just open the door, just jump in. Okay? <laughs> Understand? Understand now? So the Buddha also same there. Many lifetimes here to favor his parami. Why? Many lifetimes here to suffer, here to practice. Nama rupa, nama rupa, dependent origination, many lifetimes. You know, in the end only, you just contemplate it and just jump in, okay? Imagery, I want to be a Buddha. Imagery, I want to be a Buddha. The last night is for me, never practiced before. How can be? <laughs> okay, you have to prepare for Parami, okay? Understand? Many, many lives, <laughs> you have to practice. <laughs> you have to know what's suffering all the times, you know? You, you, if you want to become a Buddha, you scare what's suffering. How you can be a Buddha? Understand? There's many things we need, and I'm teaching students also, Mahayana background. I explain to them, if you really want to be a Buddha, I will teach. Why is it 30 types of army? They told they have only six army. Why you have 30 types? <laughs> I explain to them in detail. Why is the Buddha basis of the Bodhisattva mind? How you have to practice systematically? How you have to put it, your mind on the, on the beans? You cannot differentiate only my community. This is my temple. This is my group. They have that very strong view also. 
this center and this temple, another temple. And my students go to another temple. They were very unhappy. They didn't want to go. Or they didn't want the students go to another place. And it's a problem to my temple, my community, my group too. So I told for the Bodhisattva cannot paint in this way. <laughs> now they have to be open mind. You need to learn. That's the basis. If you never train in this way, and the Buddha cannot be perfect. You're, you can be Buddha, but never get Buddha quality. Because <laughs> you never practice, okay? Can call everybody as our hand, but really our hand or not. We have to chat in this way, no? So I explained to them the basis, how we have to practice, the mind, how we have to put it on the beans. We cannot clean only my group and my society, my humanity, you know? You have to love the ghost also. All the beings, you have to be balanced need to be equal because uh, they will support me. I only pray they will. Okay? You pray they will. It is true? It is true? Okay, why you pray they will? Because they will support you something, good business, good education, you think, okay? That's the reason you pray. If he don't want to give, he didn't give? Do you still <laughs> want to pray? Okay. <laughs> so, that's the reason people like to pray, but they will but people would like to associate with Dewa. Okay, I told you outside got many Dewas, outside of this compound. If you can see, you will quickly go out and see it. <laughs> because you want to see. If I tell you outside got many demons <laughs> and many ghosts, you want to see? You will never go out, you will stay inside. You know, if for the body center, you want to send Mita to the Dewa, he will go out and send. Demons, real ghosts, his compassion, his compassion. Oh, I should go and send my meta to the ghost. Can you share with the ghost your sleeping place? <laughs> <laughs> eh? So sometimes you need to be balanced your mind to the other beings, all the suffering beings when you say you must have people. Okay? And because of the ghost, I don't want to associate. That's not true. Your meta is not balanced. Animal, you see, you have to love them that get your son and daughter. Can you take it or not? <laughs> <laughs> who love the dog, okay, but who don't like when they maybe cannot take it, no? You need to be balanced. Animal also very sensitive beings. I don't know, I talked too long, no? okay? Did you want to continue? Yes. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Animal also very sensitive, you know, they also have a lot of meta and, you know, this from my experience, you should not think that monastery life is very peaceful, okay? You better go and learn and stay for five years, okay? After five years only, you will understand how to pick up a monastery life. But I'm not saying all are not good. Uh, who are really practice the Dhamma, you can enter under some level of the Dhamma, so you know how to control yourself. At least sort of when you have to practice. After sort of when you don't have jealousy, you feel good, you know how to take care of your mind, then be safe. They only benefit what our wearing of the robes, no? Understand? So there's a reason my students they want to ordain and they encourage them to ordain quickly. Wait. I don't practice and this sort of one. They are not so happy with me. <laughs> because uh, everywhere they go they can ordain very easy. Today you want to ordain, you can ordain. So but it's different, you know. They, okay, so I told them wait and they you really satisfy in your practice, then only practice, then the ordain. So I'm no need to talk too much. If not, I have to worry so much for a student. You know? So that's the reason I just shared to all of you. Although I, I'm not sure about what is your intention. You really want to go Nirvana or not? <laughs> okay? Nirvana is nothing, okay? No Nama, no Rupa, no properties, no house. <laughs> no suffering. Because you have many things, you want many things, you have to suffer. Understand? Emptiness is nothing, nothingness. Who really understand what the Dhamma do we appreciate about nothingness? Okay? If you have a lot of things, you have to worry a lot. You have ten wives, you have to worry for these ten wives, okay? <laughs> understand? Understand? Yes. Ten cars have to refer for ten cars. This way. So there's emptiness, is nothingness, no more suffering. It is a real nibbana. Don't be misunderstood about that. People think, oh, just let go, let go. This emptiness is also not true. So different ways of emptiness. So if you really want, you need deep practice. So it's different level. Depends on your parami and your times. When your karma is right, your times right, is what you will practice. So if you know the method, then it's easier for you. When times right, you don't know how to practice systematically. You don't know how to practice in the right way. You have to take long time. You have to 
going around and around, you cannot reach in there. So basis one, you practice, and then you go into the gate. Okay? Okay? <laughs> so when finish, just open and jump in. <laughs> so who you want to call, you pull the hand and go in together. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Thank you. So, ah, so, ah, so. Ah. I'm waiting for all you to go together, okay? <laughs>